Hello and welcome to Retrotainment Recast. We're back here again with uh, Carl Sherlock, who is our challenger, the judge from last week, and our current champion, who beat me in uh, sneaky suspicions. Uh, you know, know, had know. the tight, he had the tights <laughs> and everything. You know, ref, the ref just didn't see it. It was uh, a roll up, Greg. lads. It was a fair roll up. A roll up where he had yeah, a handful of streak. tights. Had his handful of tights and his feet on the ropes. The, I, the missed, made a mistake. I misinterpreted the rules. <laughs> uh, we obviously have Greg. How are you doing, boys? All, all right. good, all good. I'm Is not the, judging I, tonight, I, so that tells you I'm something actually, good. I'm really annoyed at you, Dad. Really Why? annoyed at you. Because you made me watch this film. It's a great yeah. film. Great film, lads. Uh, I, used watch this, I used to watch this every Christmas. I used to watch this every Christmas. It was the only uh, videotape. It's a great in... movie. It's not at all. It, it is great. <laughs> I used to watch this every Christmas because it was the only video in my uh, granny's house in uh, on my dad's side. Uh, it was the only film that was there. So we just had to watch this every year. I, I, I used to read the year. Bible. It doesn't mean it's a good book. <laughs> it, 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 it is the good book. So, you see, your own, your own argument fails you there. So, I've never read the Bible in my life. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think very many people have. Um, yeah, obviously, we went with uh, Batman and Robin here. Um, when I made this pick, I kind of forgot that, oh, yeah, there is a Batman film coming up. So, I found this quite difficult because when I thought of an actor and then I was like, oh, no, they're actually in a Batman or they were in a previous Batman, I was like, I, had, hmm, I fell into that trap as well. Maybe I need to avoid that person. There was also yeah. something else that I need when I was doing it. I, I'd cast some people and had to ca uh, cut them out myself because I was like, oh, they're in Marvel. Uh, and no. that, I was like, there's no way they're going into a DC film now, um, which I don't know if that's going to cut you boys, but we'll find out. Um, so if you just want to send your picks there into the group. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Where's the group? There we go. There we go. Shit. Uh, there's one in, and there's the other. So have them both here. Okay. So obviously, champion starts. So we will go with we'll go with Bane, who has kind of like a very minimalistic role here. Uh, Originally well, played by of... Jeep Jeep Swanson, the original actor who and played when Bane. Google him, <laughs> and when you Google him, that's the only picture you see. Yeah. I think... <laughs> Man, jacked. Um, um, obviously, is. we're talking jacked Bane. We're not talking the little wiry fella. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, I'm hoping you both cast the jacked guy and not a little wiry the boy. Because if course, you cast yeah, the wiry yeah. boy, you're definitely losing, lads. <laughs> right. Well, Bane was one of my favorite bad guys. Yeah. Um, and I, everyone kind of knows that. Um, so I was kind of, I was very happy with the portrayal that Tom Hardy did. Yeah. Um, I uh... was disgusted with the Bane that they put in this movie. <laughs> I thought the Bane in this film was kind of close. Like, he was a big jacked dude. I went went, I went for a jacked guy um, and a former WWE star. Um, now, I'll give you my backup first. Um, we, I went with Andrew Berianeski, or however you say his name. He was Mad, uh, Mad Dog Kelly in um, Any Given Sunday. He was oh, yeah, Let yeah. Leatherface in the 2003 remake. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's pretty big guy big guy he's a big he's, unit um, he's, a, he's a unit all right that lad but i think he might have been a bit too old and the muscles might have been slightly going uh yeah I don't know if, yeah i don't know if he kept himself in uh in this he was he's actually been in a batman before was he batman oh returns. he was in batman returns yeah yeah uh so i'm kind of glad i didn't go with that good yeah uh, <laughs> And I went with Nathan Jones, who was obviously in the new Mad Max. Ooh, yes. Very good choice. What um, a big unit that man is. Yeah, the guy's a big uh, big unit. When you said... He is a big unit. When you said that... Uh, Definitely a big unit. Put, like, uh, an ex-WWE guy, I was like... Goldberg. Okay. I was like, it's obviously going to be Batista or The Rock here, because they're the two ex-WWE yeah. guys. And I was like... I don't know about, too, I was like, too big. I was, like, I was like, I don't know about either of those boyos for it. I don't think you can be too big for Bane, like considering no, 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 no. this. No, or like no, name wise. Names, name yeah, wise, name yeah. wise, yeah. Grant. Okay. Carl, who you got? I went down the same kind of route as yourself there, Greg. Um, I went for Brocklesnar himself. Brock Lesnar. He can get fucked. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big boy. He He's big a boy. big hoss. Yeah. You know, and he's you know. You know, that you don't need to even put on the fake muscles or the the, the 
the drawn in veins he has it himself so you know <laughs> so you, so you don't need any of that <laughs> you know and all he has to do is go bomb <laughs> Bob. <laughs> he has a few other lines. He has a few other lines. You I, do know, think, I do think. I do think. Without Paul Henry, he wouldn't be able to do that, though. <laughs> I know. You know he, so... he, can, he can talk. He can. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. So I went along a kind of similar route. I was like, it's got to be someone big, right? So the first person I caught, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name, so it's just going to be the character. This was my backup. Was the mountain. Because oh, yeah, obviously yeah. that guy is huge. Like he's not talking. huge. He is not huge. He is just ridiculous like, i don't i don't know yeah. how tall that guy is because he's like he everyone i oh, see him stand beside he shadows except his two brothers who dwarf him yeah uh, Ro- <laughs> like even even your man rory mcdonald is it or rory whatever who played the hound yeah it's shadow rory McCann. Yeah. yeah he's he's a big unit as well and he was yeah. small exactly but then your man's two brothers make him look tiny it was like that picture of uh andre and who was it um oh the basketball player yeah um, beside uh Beside Arnie and Will's Arnie. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it makes Arnie look small. It's kind of yeah. similar. Arnie's to that tiny in that picture. Yeah. It's hilarious. <laughs> that, that, that's what the mountain is like with his brothers. So God, God help however tall his brothers are, because there's no way they should fit through help. any doors. They must be about nine. God help, foot God help his mother. <laughs> yeah, must be about nine foot tall. Those boyos. Um, yeah. But my pick, and I actually thought I was going very left field here, because it's like this guy isn't an actor. He's uh, a lot of money. But I, I actually went with Brock Lesnar. I thought Brock Lesnar, nice. dude, is jacked. He doesn't need to say all that much. Like he's got about eight lines in the whole film, and I was like, hey. oh. yeah. <laughs> I was like, that 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 guy could do it. And you know, the like picking people up and literally just tossing them around. I was like, yeah, they don't need to. Can you can you just jump for him? No, he'll just do it. If you don't jump, he's throwing you. So I was like, oh yeah, Braun yeah. Strowman like, learned that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they all learn it. So yeah, Kyle's up one nil, champion Great. down on the first the first hurdle. Um. We'll go with Woo. we'll go with Poison Ivy, who obviously is uh, Uma Thurman in the original. Huge actress again. You're kind of like, yes, she was. How did he get this? What she came off. This is coming three years off the back of um, Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Yeah, major. And then she went from this yeah. to two smaller movies, and then went into Kill Bill. Yeah, yeah, she's a fantastic um, actress. But yeah, yeah. For this one here, I originally cast someone who I've actually then recast as Batgirl, so I'm not going to say that as of yet. Yeah. And no. then I had Scarlett Johansson. I was just like, because she technically she's not even fit. She's finished with Marvel now, so that doesn't even matter. Yeah. That argument. I, did, I didn't. Um, even, I didn't even go with that because yeah, people can be invoked. No, they yeah. can't. Well, they can't. <laughs> so no, they can't. Scar- I'm telling you now that if you are if you're currently active in Marvel, there is no chance you're acting in a DC film. So with Scarlett oh. Johansson, I was just like, yeah, I mean, she, this is the one I was least confident on, mm. and then, and then my mind would just clicked. I'm just like, oh my god, I can picture her in this role with her little bit of overacting and all the type of stuff, and then she can also do this extra sexy and sultry thing as well. Alison Brie. Yeah, good shout. Um, yeah. yeah, very good That's shout. Actually, you know, she's not she's not as big a name as Uma Thurman was at the time, yeah. but she's a really good actress. Yeah, I um, you know her from Community. Oh, she won from right? Mad Men. Uh, yeah, Mad Men Community. Yeah, I mean, she's Community also done. I know her from. She's done a lot also of things. Glow as well. Oh, she's, she's in Glow, fantastic yeah. in Glow. She, she, yeah, she's a very good actress. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, Greg, who have you got? Uh, so I had two. Uh, my backup was Emma Stone. Yeah, I- I'm quite fond of an old Emma Stone. She's a good actress. I think we're all a bit of fond of, of, of Emma Stone. Yeah, uh... <laughs> don't you start and I'll get Zendaya back in here. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Let her uh, join in. I don't mind her and Emma Stone. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're divorced tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's away at a wedding. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. No, I then went to uh, an actress that's picking and choosing what she's doing now. She's been in a couple of blockbusters. Um, she was obviously in One with the Rock. Uh, she done True Detective. I went with Alexandra Daddario. Uh, she was in um, San Andreas with the Rock. She was in Baywatch. Oh yes, she's the main girl in ba- or like the younger girl in Baywatch, isn't she? 
Yeah, she was the she's the main girl really in Baywatch. Yeah, that's yeah, not okay. meant that's not meant to be CJ. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just see you could see her in that outfit, and I'm like, yeah, um, I win. Well, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm the I'm the same there. I can see you know I can, I can see Alison Brie with with the twirly hair up here because she like she accentuates that type of overacting type thing. I think I think the it's the eye, name, the big eyes, and the. I can just picture Alison Brie doing that. But it's not just the big eyes that she's meant to have in this. Well, uh, Alison Brie, you know. No, the, the, I, I, would say both, I would say they're both. I would say they're both quite, quite good uh, picks now, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I actually had a couple of people here when I was thinking about this. So one that I think was a little bit left field was uh, Natalie Dormer. Yeah. I don't I, know. Actress. A very good actress, but I don't know would she fit the role particularly. Um, yeah, she's she's a strange one because she's, sometimes like I think she's, she's picking, yeah. yeah, she's sometimes picking and she's choosing, and if the role is somewhatly off, she looks terrible. Yeah, sometimes so I think might, she, she does the roles very well, and then other times I'm like, yeah, she's done a I couple of understand. absolute stinkers straight after Game of Thrones. Yeah, um, there was also, I also thought maybe Sophie Turner here. No, um, I, but don't I don't. See that one. I don't. I didn't see. No, that the, just kinda... the, the role's too over the top for her, and she's more of a serious actress. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I thought when I was doing it. Um, so the person I ended up going with was uh, Karen Gill uh, Gillian. Nice. nice was, show. I like Karen um, Gillian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's so nice what, show. what actually gave me that is when I was watching it, and do you know when Poison Ivy comes up out of the ground after the and, acid and all falling? Yeah, out. and she kind of has the like it's the kind of cut off shorts and the. Like it's kind of like a be uh, belly top the, sort of top a poison ivy. Yeah. Before she look. puts on the well, before she puts on the poison ivy outfit. Yeah. yeah. I was like, that yeah. looks like exactly what your one wears in in, um, Jumanji. in Jumanji, and straight away I was like, that's that's the person. So that's who I. Yeah, I've with. I've liked her in everything that I've seen her in. She was great in Jumanji, great in the Marvel movies, fantastic in Doctor Who. You know, um, I love Karen. Gillian. Was she in what was she in Marvel films for? She's Nebula. Is she? Jesus, I didn't even know. Yeah. That. I didn't even know She's that. She's Nebula, yeah. Well, then I wouldn't have picked her if I do that. Uh, I mean, I have <laughs> that uh, but that's who I went with. Um, oh, yeah. I forgot. Sorry, the Marvel thing. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> to, to Why me, is she Nebula? Yeah. Yeah, she's Nebula. Yeah. She shaves her head for that role. Completely yeah, I, shaves it. Yeah. It's, it's obviously because Nebula has the... Um, the, the the robotic face, the bit. robotic face, and stuff like you don't really, yeah. like, you can't really tell who it is. I, if I'd known that, I wouldn't have put her in. But, um, it was from Jumanji that I picked it. I was just like, oh, she'd be. I can see, I can yeah. see where you're getting that when she comes up with the shorts and yeah, uh, like obviously, you know, she kind of has the, the kind of red hair as well that works in this. But you know, you can just dye their hair or put a wig on them. It's not, you know, it's not exactly. Yeah, yeah. That, I'm thing. pretty sure that's a wig on Uma Thurman. And anyway, <laughs> it, it, it is a wig on Uma Thurman. It's but... not, it's not quite bleach blonde. Yeah, you know what I mean. But uh, yeah. Both very good. Um, I'd probably, I think Alison Brie might be a bit too big for the role. But then I think really? that Uma Thurman, yeah, then uh, I think Uma, Uma Thurman, Thurman was, was quite big. Yeah, Uma Thurman was quite big there as well. Uh, I don't know if Alison Brie would take that role now. Um, she definitely would. I mean, she's she's campaigning. She wants to get into into Marvel or DC. She like actually wants to be in a superhero movie. So so do I, but it's not gonna happen. <laughs> but I mean, she, she's actually gone on interviews and she's like, because people are saying, all right, we need to get an Alison Brie type, and yeah. then she's seen this and it's just like, why not just get me? It's like, no, not you. Yeah. But I mean, people. Only she wants to do it. Yeah, the only thing I can think of your one, uh, Alexander Daddario, in is Baywatch. I can't really think of her in anything else. She was in, um, she was in uh, Texas Chainsaw 3D. She was in True Detective. She was Woody Harrelson's girlfriend in True Detective. I haven't watched uh, True Detective, and I don't think the, I watched Chainsaw 3D either. She was the rock. And if you if, if you saw Baywatch, if you watched Baywatch, then you don't want to see her in anything else because Baywatch is terrible. Yeah. I'd like to see her in. I mean, I'd watch. I'd like to see her in, in a couple things, but I mean, I, I, not uh, not for acting. <laughs> I, I, th I think Baywatch was all right. Actress. I think I think Baywatch was all right. It's exactly what I expected oh, Baywatch I, to be. You know, I, it, I didn't. I, I wasn't expecting anything. You know, major. Like if you go back and watch the original Baywatch, you're not act, you're not asking for anything major in that either. So you know, you get what you what you're going to watch. Really. Know, uh, more so, her acting in the in True Detective as the as the girlfriend. See, I love interest. See, the problem is I haven't seen her in that, and in Baywatch, 
she doesn't really play the you know trying to play up her sex appeal yeah. sort of and when she, she does do it she's real awkward i'm not like i'm not saying she couldn't do it but that's the only thing i can judge her off yeah well like literally the whole point of horror in true detective is woody harrelson's riding horror instead of his missus yeah i haven't i haven't seen true detective though it's, it's something that's on the list uh, I, I only watched the first season once colin farrell came into it i was like nah i'm done <laughs> I like Colin Farrell. I don't know why you hate him so much. I, I, I think Colin. I think Colin Farrell is the most underrated actor in, in Hollywood. I don't know if he's the most underrated. He's definitely underrated, though. I think. Uh, I think people shit on him for certain films he did, but if you look at some of his other bodies of work, he's very good. Um, yeah. Don't I forget, am, uh, Colin Farrell was also in Daredevil, so we won't talk about that. Yeah, but that's not <laughs> Daredevil doesn't exist anymore because they made the TV show or the Netflix thing. So that's the only real Daredevil now. Um, I'm going to go with Alison Brie based more on. That I've seen more from her. Um, I haven't seen enough from Alexander Dario, which is just unfortunate for you, Craig, that I haven't seen the shows she's been in. Kind of similar to like uh, you having not watched Jessica Jones for when we did the first episode. Yeah, yeah. Like, I've never seen her, so you're still holding on to that, huh? Still not even, that. not even holding on to that. It's just that it, it does happen. You know, if if you haven't seen yeah, somebody, no, it's course. very hard to judge. No, no, of course, like, yeah, yeah. What the, what what they could do in that sort of role, and I have seen Alison Brie and stuff, and she she tries to play up the kind of sex appeal stuff in Community a few times as well. Yeah, I haven't seen that. Yeah, that Community's very good. Uh, you but, should. Yeah, you it's should very, very good. Uh, right, so two... You no, know, actually, I had another uh, one just come across there in my head. Um, Megan Markle, I know she's not acting now, but she, she could have been a show. She mm, I think she's too uh, serious. She's too serious, I think. Well, let's be fair. There's, there's nothing serious about this movie. No, nope. but I think, Meg, I think Megan Markle oh, is too serious. Like, she takes herself as a very serious actor actress i don't think she'd take a role like this and let's be honest she's not she's not going into this movie today i don't think she's got any films anymore to be honest but uh or yeah. any acting roles really anymore i think she's done um who we go with next so it's back to you greg we'll go with uh the boy wonder robin i had one name on this list okay same here just one, one name for me go ahead Tar- taron edrington edrington edling i don't know edrington Edgerton, yeah. The King, from The Kingsman, yeah. Uh, I think he's great. Yeah, he's a really good actor. Yeah. Um, he was Elton John in the Rocket Man movie as well. Great film. Didn't see it. <laughs> no, I didn't see oh, it. He's, he's really, he's honestly really, really good in it. Yeah, like I had um, I had zero interest in watching Kingsman and she wanted to watch it. So I said, all right, I'll sit down and watch it. I think I finished it and she was kind of like, yeah, okay, it was all right. It was good. Oh, I love it. I don't. Yeah, I, I thought it was brilliant. Yeah, and I don't really overly like Colin Firth, but uh, I thought that was very good. Yeah, but, uh, Tar- Edrington. Yeah, like he came in like Chris O'Donnell or was it Chris O'Donnell? Yeah, it was Chris, Chris O'Donnell. O'Donnell yeah. yeah, he he wasn't anything really coming into this. No, he exactly. Was, which was he's which still is nothing. Where my which is where my point is coming. Um, Taron Edrington is not playing Robin. In this film, because Robin is nothing in this film. He's just a whiny little brat, really. Mm. Um, and he... Taron Edgerton is the lead. He's the lead. He, if you look at his filmography, he's a lead. Yeah. Um, you can't always why, be a lead, though. Mm, you can't, you can't but... what Taron can uh, for the next time being. And anyway, um, I went with Josh Hutcherson. Okay. Josh Hutcherson. Yeah. Uh, I you know, to see that. I, I can. See, he, we know he can play a whiny little brat because that's yeah. all he does in Hunger Games. Um, he's not cool. always the biggest yeah. name, and and he'll, you know, this is a film that you can slap on to. All right, he's acting with all these big other actors, so he's he'll get his name out there. Um, yeah. but and he's still young. He still looks looks young. And anyway, I think he's in his twenties. Yeah. Um, I, that's I, I think he played the role very well. You know, for this role. For this Robin that we saw in the movie, I can see uh, Josh Hutcherson play it. And because we know he has the physical capabilities of to do whatever he was doing. Yeah. Um, okay, so I went with uh, Robbie Amell. Stephen Amell's little brother. Yeah. Um, now, again, probably a little old for this role. Um, I didn't realise Chris O'Donnell was so young when he actually did this role. How old was he? So young. 24. Uh, or something like that, and it's the same. Well, with... he, he he looks eighteen. Yeah, it's the same with the. It's uh, the skin uh, head that did it. It's the same with the uh, <laughs> Alicia Silverstone. She was like twenty one or twenty two when she did this role. She's way younger than I thought she was when she did this. So I'm just I'm just going through. Um... Like George Clooney was only in his thirties as well. 
He was just going through Chris O'Donnell's he was, thing. He was, I, I looked it up because that's how I was trying to find some people around his age. <laughs> oh, he wouldn't have been in his 40s, would he? I, it was like early, early 40s. Yeah. No, it's definitely like not he, sure. He's just he... gone full. Or late, late 30s, early 40s. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, he was 39, I think. 36, isn't it? Yeah. 36. He's ah. 36. So yeah. Yeah, I'm just lo- I'm just looking at Chris O'Donnell's movie list before Batman and Robin. So he was in Batman Forever. Yeah. But he was that was in... a cameo at the end, really, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was yeah. kind of the introduction to the character to but, bring him into yeah. this. Yeah. He was in Scent of a Woman with Al Pacino, mm. which um... kind of cast him into thing. It's a great movie. Yeah. So. Uh, I know it is a fried, great movie, but Fried Green Tomatoes, Three Musketeers, School Ties, and The Chamber. Now, that's the movie I remember from. I didn't realize that was before um, Batman and Robin, though. It's travesty. Uh, well, it's not a travesty, <laughs> it's a great film. But, um, the only thing with uh, Josh Hutcherson now is he seems to have, and like, I know he could lose the weight, but he seems to have put on a bit of weight. He's kind of gotten a bit bulky. And I he was always kind of, he, uh, he's, he's always kind of been a kind of big guy as well whereas robin's kind of a because he's meant to be the boy wonder yeah, I mean, kind of a skinnier I, sort of he guy can, he can always you thought that's all training kind of thing i mean he can train down he can yeah. yeah um no he could um but i just i don't know that he would just, i don't know just, just watch taron as eggsy or Edzy, whatever his name is. Yeah, I, 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 I think Taron... I, see, I, I think Taron would be a much better choice to play Batman in the future rather than in the Robin. Fu- in the future, you know, he would be, because he's so He young. would be, but I, I can't see Taron playing Robin. I really can't. He's... I, I, again, especially in this film. In this... Maybe in a different film, but in this film specifically, but in you this see, Batman and Robin. But you have to remember that this film hasn't been made. So they've come yeah. to him and said, would you like to be Robin in the new Batman film? Yes. I think I, he would say yes. I any think any actor that age would say yes. I don't. I, th- I think because he'd know, listen, I'm not going to be old enough to be the Batman in this film because the guy is only 30. And then you go, you're not old enough to be the Batman, right? Yeah. And the next time the next one gets made, you're not going to be Robin because that's going to be the same person. So you've got your chance to get into a franchise yeah, with I, the name I, Batman I, on it. I, I do agree with you that he normally is a lead man. I think you would take this opportunity to to be in a franchise like Batman. Now, whatever but, people think about this film, like because it's already been made, but you have to base it on the fact that it hasn't been made yet. The one point I will make about the whole lead thing, Arnie was always a lead. Always. He's not the lead. Uma Thurman was a lead. Well, he's, he's not he's, the lead. He's, 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 he's the lead. lead he's the lead antagonist. Well, okay, so yeah, Uma Thurman's always a lead. She wasn't a lead. Do you know what I mean? She I, has think she, I think she gets probably the same amount of screen time as Arnie, if not Elite. maybe only a little bit less. But Elite, I mean, she's Alicia, a, she's Alicia a Silverstone sex- was the sex appeal icon of this time. And I think she, she's only coming into her thing at this. Like she was only she was only 20, coming she, into it. She was only starting to be an actress. Sure, she's only she, twenty. She's not, done, she's not done Clueless and all at this stage. Don't think so. Sure, she was only. 20 I don't think so. Stage. She's only twenty at the, in and around this sort of time. She's very young. Like I thought she was older when she came into this as well. But what a what not. a babe. So we will go. I'll, I'll go with the uh, Taron Egerton because I think he'd take it for the franchise. On the exit. Um, so we're two one. So back to Carl here. Um, since we've done Batman, we'll go with Batgirl. Or oh, sorry, since we've done Robin, we'll go with Batgirl. The two. All right. I ones. only had one person for the list here. Okay. Um. So I was like, at least yeah. she's known to be, you know, sexy model kind of thing. So that's yeah. where I, that's where I was going, and she's not great. Hello, Zendaya. Zendaya. No. Okay. <laughs> well, I wish I could go for Zendaya, but I didn't. I didn't want to. I didn't want her name sullied with this film. Uh, <laughs> so I went with someone who has already sullied their name massively from being in a previous DC film. Um, oh. And like she's known for being a model kind of thing. I went with Cara Delevingne. No, I hate that woman. She's also... I hate her too, but I hate everything about this oh movie. My so God. I was just like, um, get Karen Delevingne in there. She no. will wear that suit. She'll look great in the suit. No, she won't. Let's be honest. She all you'll see is she... all you'll see is the fucking eyebrows. <laughs> you know, she and wears she's... the mask. And she, she wears yeah, the mask. And her eyebrows will be up fucking here. <laughs> you know, she'll wear the mask, she'll look sexy. That's literally all you need to do for this film with a little bit of acting, which is what she only has. She only has a little bit of acting capability. She's not in the movie an awful lot. So no, she's not get her in there. 
So get her in there, make her look sexy, let her wear the tight leather back girl outfit, which she wears two different costumes in two different scenes just to sell toys. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Even though it's all meant to be one big fight, yeah. Yeah, then, get, get, you get, you get her, get get her into hit. that and, you know... You get that scene where she's putting on the suit and it zooms in on her arse. Yeah, I mean that's, that's it exactly what they're all, It zooms in on all three of them. At, yeah, at, well, to be fair, to be yeah. fair, it, it and then it even shows her nipples. It even shows her nipples in the every, fucking bad girls. Every, as well. every, like, all the suits have nipples. Cl- Clooney's suit like, had nipples Lord. as well, you know. I know. Well, Clooney's had it as well. You know, that was the that was the gimmick. They wanted nipples on their bat suits. It, was, it wasn't a good gimmick. <laughs> I'm not saying it was, but they, that's what they wanted to go with. All right, Greg, who but, have you got? Yeah, uh, Cara I my backup was. Pre any uh, chopper, you won from Frankie Chopper, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, Mrs. Nick Jonas. Yeah. Let's go with is that who it is? She was in a show about the FBI training center or something. I can't remember the name, it's so used to watch it. And I've seen her in a couple of other teams. Oh, yeah, the missus watch that as well. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't. She watches all them shows, I don't watch any of them, but uh, I went for Karen Gillian in this one, surely because there's a bit more acting in it. Uh, or a bit more action in it, sorry. A bit more acting. There's no good acting in this movie at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't, surely for the little bits of action that are in it, act, act, the little bit of action that's in it. Yeah, she can do it, yeah. yeah. We've seen her do it in the other films. Yeah. Um, uh, that's what I went with. I don't, I don't know in real life if they are actually the same age, but Karen Gillian looks an awful lot older than Cara Delevingne. I don't know. Cara Delevingne kind of looks older than she is. I think. Yeah, she's definitely older than you she think? is. Think. I think she kind of looks a bit older than she is. Yeah. I think they're both around similar ages, but I think Cara Delevingne looks a little bit older than she is. <laughs> it's not even the eyebrows. I just think she does look a little bit older. Um, she's a terrible so, actress as well. I know this is a, I know this is a terrible movie, but no, it's not a terrible film. But whatever. Um, I had a few for this, <laughs> so I actually thought of Hayden Panettiere for this at one point. I think she would have been okay for this role, but coach, take him out, um, coach. <laughs> there was at one point I was thinking Amelia Clark, but I think no. too big a name as well. She, she'd have been a very, she could have been a very good Poison Ivy actually. I did have her down as Poison Ivy at one point, but I just said I don't, I don't see her as that. I thought your one, I had your one Karen Gillian. I thought was was a better Poison Ivy just on based on look, I suppose more than anything. Yeah. Um. And then the one I actually went with was uh, Peyton List. I think she would have been very good in this. Yeah. Um, so Mary, Mary yeah. Mouser. Keeps well, not, Ma- not Mary Mouser, but Peyton List. Uh, I think yeah. Peyton List would have been very, very good in this. Yeah. Um, she had she had crossed my mind. I just thought then I can't literally throw her into everything. Otherwise, my joke with Carl doesn't work anymore. <laughs> yeah. I've picked the day of once. Uh, once. Yeah. <laughs> you put in a very valid argument. For and a second, <laughs> and then lost. <laughs> um, and lost. Yeah. So what kind of makes this difficult is that because Carl said that Karen Gillian was in a Marvel film, I'm kind of yeah, like see, I, did, I didn't even go off that. Well, see, neither did I when I cast her in it. So yeah. I can kind of see why you wouldn't have thought of that. That kind of puts a kibosh on her being in a DC film because That's there's some... no way that they'd let her go across. But you the said with active. Her... <laughs> Sorry, she's, she's no lo- she's no longer active. No, oh, she she's is still active. active. She's still, still active. active. Is she coming she's into still the new alive? And she's still alive. Yeah, she, she's going to be in the New Guardians. Yeah, oh, no, she, she she's still going. No, yeah. it's um, it's a uh, Black Widow that's no longer active. No, no, I know that. Yes. But yeah. I, thought, I, just, I didn't. Yeah, yeah but uh, then see, Cara Delevingne was in a Still DC film. film. Yeah, she was in a DC film so recently. I don't know if they would then take her because they'd be like, a, you say recently. It's about a decade. It's about no. 10 years since Suicide Squad came out. Suicide Squad's only... 2014 or something, 2015. Even later. It's not 2015. Let me have a quick look. He's uh, cheating over there. Oh, sorry, it's 2016. Apologies. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, they're that's, definitely still, not going to I mean, it, it's, pass there in five they're, years. They yeah. are... They're not the same storylines. They're, they're not. The, they're not like no, we're not putting not. Batman and Robin to con- continue the storyline of no, no, the I know. EU. No, I know. So this is completely I, different. No, I do set agree. Of but just sometimes I think when they're picking these roles, they do look at that. Um, I will give it to Carl based on the fact that I had Karen Gillian as 
poison ivy, which means I wouldn't be able to have her in this role. I know we didn't go with that, but that's I think she would have been better as a poison ivy than a, a back girl. Um, I'm not like I don't think either would have been particularly great for that role. Um, yeah, I, I, I wasn't all out for Cara Delevingne. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah no. I'd I'd go Cara Delevingne just because I had Karen Gillian and something else, and because she is currently active in Marvel. That would kind of put the kibosh on her being used at all. Um, yeah. So leveled yeah, up. I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, neither did I when I was thinking it, but since it, <laughs> since it was mentioned, I have to use the... Um, so Marvel two knowledge. One, yes. Two all. Right, we'll go with... It's 3-1. We'll it's 3-1. Is it 3-1? 3-1. Unless you're giving me yeah. that vote. No, sorry. Then it's 3-1. Sorry, I thought Greg won the first yeah. two. Did you know? No, no, I won, the, no. I won the first two, and then Greg won one. And then oh, was, sorry. He went with Brock Lesnar. Oh, yeah, I did yeah. go with Brock Lesnar. What a beast. El um, Brock will snare himself. Right, we'll go with uh, Alfred now. So, Greg's up for Alfred. Tough one. I had this is a, a I very I, different I'm so Alfred. With, I'm so happy with my picks for this one. Yeah, so it's, happy. A, it's a very different Alfred to what we've seen in quite a long time, because he's obviously, you know, he's sick in this film, yeah. like dying in this film, and it's... You can even see, even from the start, you can see him as kind of a he's quite sad rather than protective yeah. or anything. It's a very different yeah. Alfred this time. It was a strange Alfred actually. Um, Michael Goff was brilliant in this though. He's he about was. the one of the about he was one of the best things about this movie. I think I think he was Alfred in all of the the old Batman films. He, he was. He was. Yeah. yeah. No, but he was one of the only good things about this movie. He did do very well in it. Yeah. Uh, so I had three. Uh, I had the least of my three was Ian McShane. Okay. Um. I could say it just, I was like, yeah, he could do it. Will he do mm-hmm. it? Probably yeah. not. Um, I had Jeffrey Rush, who was obviously Barbosa okay. in Pirates yeah. of the Caribbean. Yeah, I don't know if he's old enough for this, Alfred. Oh, no, he definitely is. Jeffrey yeah. Rush is in his 70s. Yeah, oh. Jeffrey Rush is an old he's man. Yeah. I always think of him as a lot younger than that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I went he, was, he, was in his, he was in his 50s, late se- or 50s, 60s when he did Pirates. Yeah, Jesus. that was yeah, 2003 okay. or whatever, wasn't yeah, it? Fair enough, yeah. yeah. I just always think uh, of him still as at that sort of age. I know, obviously, he's no, aged did, since. But... Yeah, I went with Charles Dance. Yes, very good. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, I, He's just a great actor overall. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, no, very, very good actor, yeah. It was a tough okay. one to cast out because Michael Goff was brilliant. Obviously, he was one that had came through the other two or three movies so you'd have to imagine Charles Dance coming through as Alfred in the other three yeah true but you could also I went I went see I had two picks here and I'm still torn I'm still torn so I'm making a last minute decision to decide which one okay so my backup here you've already sent your picks in you can't change it's some bullshit Uh, I didn't put a tick beside them but neither is any of the ones that you said Um, the my backup was Kevin Conroy. He know. was the voice of Batman in the Batman animated series. Hmm. Um, and if you look him, he looks like Alfred could fucking look now. <laughs> yeah. Very you old know, looking he, man, yeah. He is very old looking, you know. Um, and he's I think he's done a little bit of acting anyway. That, but that's the main reason why I didn't choose I think him. He's, because more, he's mainly a voice actor though, isn't he? He is. He is. Yeah. Uh, which is the main reason why I didn't choose him because I didn't think that would win me the point. No, I don't um, think it would have. <laughs> To win me the point, I went with also has Batman connections um, and Batman animated series connections. I went with Mark Hamill. Yeah, I figured that's who you're going to say when you said uh, yeah. his <laughs> connections. Probably a bit young, Mark... now. No! 70. Mark Hamill's in 70. Well, Mark Hamill's original... old. He was in the Mark original Hamill's Star Wars now, yeah. Greg. <laughs> no, I know yeah. he was in the original ones, but I thought he was only about 18 or so and that. Well, I suppose that's 70. No, he, was, he was in his 20s then, yeah. Mm. Um, you're still like, talking Mark Hamill. Yeah. And if you look at if you look at the last Star Wars trilogy, he he was an older man. You know they played mm-hmm. him off as that he can play that. And then wouldn't it just be great? You, I know it's switching franchise or whatever, but you see him lying in the bed. It's almost a Yoda moment. Yeah, you know, yeah. but it's Luke. <laughs> you know, um, I can see him playing the butler. Yes, he's a bit stockier, or he's a bit kind of. Not, maybe it's not just stocky, it's, you know, a bit of a bil- belly on him kind of thing um, compared yeah. to Michael Goff. But Mark, ha- he's that kind of, people would like to see him on screen, just like people like to see Michael Goff on screen. Yeah, true. You know, I can see that. Too. I can see it. some of the lines that he delivers, 
throughout the film, I can almost picture uh, Mark Hamill saying those exact lines in the exact same way as Michael Goff did. Yeah, um, um, I can, yeah. Um, so, when I was thinking this, uh, I thought Ian McKellen would be very good at it. Well, he, he, he crossed my mind. But... He crossed my mind, but I thought that was an obvious choice, and I was just like, I don't want to do it. Well, it was it was an obvious choice, and then I said to myself, "Oh no, wait, Marvel." Uh, now I don't know if he'd be. Well, I don't know if he's still contracted yeah. to Marvel because I don't know that Magneto's dead now. Yeah, well, I don't know. If I'm not dead, dead, but, but it's, it's a dead character now. That yeah, he's from know. an old franchise. Yeah, that's Fox. So, it's Fox. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I don't know if he'd yeah. be still tied to them or anything. So I was kind of like, yeah, I don't could think use him. No, I don't think he is either. I was like, oh, you could use him. Uh, I thought of Donald Sun- uh, Sutherland at one point. He's retired now. He is retired, but... He has know. retired, yeah. I, that's why it's kind of like, yeah, maybe like, not. There's, there's nothing getting him out of retirement. He was offered exactly. um, he was offered a part in one of the new big movies coming up and he turned it down. I was yeah, reading. That, that's, why I, that's why I didn't go with him either. Yeah. So I went with uh, Christopher Lloyd, who would have been Doc. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I love Christopher Lloyd. I think... He... No, I don't, I don't just, see it. I, I don't think he has the wits about him to do this. To do he's, a film. He's kind of gone a bit rocky, isn't he? He is, and it's, it's sad to see. I don't want to be upset. I'm already upset that I'm watching this film. I don't want to be more upset that I'm watching. Now, when's movie. the next time you're going to watch this movie? I'm never going to watch it again. <laughs> um, the thing is that, yeah, like he has gone a little bit rocky, but I think he would play the character of, you know. No, but his, his mind is gone. I'm pretty sure he was dying yeah. with dementia. Like, I know he's doing little small bits. But... Yeah, he's still, he's still doing bits and pieces here. And, like, the thing is that Alfred in this film doesn't have a whole lot of lines. Yeah. Um, do you know what I mean? Like, there's not a whole lot of uh, actual screen time with Alfred. And the yeah. thing with Alfred is that he has to play that he is uh, someone who's quite sick and that he is someone that's, you know, on death's door in this. And he's worried, like, all he is is just worried all the time. So I thought, I think Christopher Lloyd could do that because it is such, not that it's a small and, like, like not not needed role, but that it, the actual screen time is quite small for it. So I thought he could do quite well for this. I thought um I was thinking obviously I know he was he was Alfred in in the other Batman, but Michael Caine would have been brilliant. Yeah, I thought Michael Caine as well. But it was just like I can't choose so yeah. I can't choose him if he was in. I haven't, haven't literally Batman, told you know. haven't literally told other people the rules, being like yeah you can't cast someone that's already played the yeah. character. Like that well, one, he hasn't played. He hasn't played out. No, he, he would have so. because that trilogy is now done. Um. So we're remaking this today. So that trilogy is done. So he's already yeah. been. Yeah, true. But he's been Batman. But does that? Oh, mean he, he, no, he was Alfred in Batman. Michael Caine. Oh, sorry, Michael Caine. Sorry. Yeah. No, oh, I was thinking something else. Yeah. So yeah, he wouldn't be able to <laughs> think of something else completely. Um, Al Pacino could have been another good one. Oh yeah, I did think of Al Pacino at one point, and then I was like, "Ooh, he's not playing that role." <laughs> oh, he's That's the thing. I, I said, I said, looks wise, I was like, "Yeah." Hold Al on, Pacino. Now. And then I was hold like, on now. Hold on. No. He's not playing that role. I watched that man in Jack and Jill. Yeah, that was a low um, point. That yeah. was a low point. <laughs> I still, you ever, you ever hear this? I, I'm not even getting into it. I can get, yeah. I get sidetracked every time I talk about that. No, but um, I do like the choice of Mark Hamill, but I think I do connect him too much with Batman still. Um, just due to his but, his voice, I I, I do connect it uh, too much. See, he 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 does so many voices. He is a voice actor as well, you know. Yeah. Um, that's mainly his, what he's done, really, yeah. though, in the last long time as voice acting. His, you know, his connection to yeah, Batman, I know, which would probably be a reason why he would be cast because it it's like is, okay. I also think that's, that. His his physical body type doesn't really fit the role butler. here either. I think Charles yeah. Dance's body type fits this role very well. And when when do you ever see a fat butler? <laughs> well, you see, I, I have seen fat butlers and stuff, but I, I think yeah. Charles Dance. I, I, I do think Charles. Forrest Dance, Whitaker, sure. Yeah, Lads, I think I have, I have the best butler to cast actually, the butler from Tomb Raider two. So oh, there you can go. There you can go, Christopher Lloyd. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I, I'm gonna go with Charles Dance. I do. I think Charles Dance would be very good in this role. Uh, Charles Dance Mark, is very good in everything. Yeah, I think. I think Mark Hamill would be able to do it, but I think. I think Charles I think Dance looks Charles better Dance for the role. Too, I think he's too big for this small of a role. Um, you have I to guess. think that like this Batman, like the person who's been playing this, that's been played Alfred, has been Alfred in a couple of Batmans at this point. So yeah, he, it means I, he would have been Batman. He means he would have been Alfred for a couple of things. 
Yeah. So I, I think he would have taken it um, just because of what Batman is. I think that does have, still have an appeal to people. Um, I mean, he was in Game of Thrones as well, you know, so. Who? Uh, Charles Dance. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I, I'll go with Charles Dance. So we're 3 well, 2 then. We might we might as well call this over then, really, because another one of my picks is still active in Marvel. I, well, I, didn't, look at, I didn't look at it that way. Carl might as well. Um, so we'll go with. We'll go with Mr. Freeze. We'll end on Batman, I suppose. Yeah, so. We have to end on Batman. Yeah, you kind of have to end on Batman. So 3-2 three, three, at the moment, and it's it's Carl's pick first. So, Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze. Okay. Look. I, I have made it no secret in our group chat. I've made it no secret on this, ep, on this episode. I haven't liked this film. <laughs> it's a great this, this, this role is played by Arnie. You know, he's just this big beefy lad who speaks in nothing but woodliners and overacts to hell. And when I thought of a big beefy lad who overacts to hell Rock. and likes to put weird and puts weird shit on his face the whole time, I thought of Tom Hardy. Mm. He's a big beefy lad. He overacts in every film that he does. He's not a good actor. I've made it no secret I don't like Tom Hardy. Mm. And but you know, he has the same physicality uh, or even with that suit on. You know him. He likes to dress up weird and do weird shit. Um, I could see him playing this role. Maybe my argument is too hateful. But yeah. think of it uh, think of it as uh, Tom Hardy in this role. You know, he will say the one-liners. He, we've seen him in Venom, yeah. um, which isn't a bar of the MCU property. No. Not the MCU property. Yeah. So he could still do this role. It's coming into it. So he could still do this role because it's it's a separate entity. Um, the only thing I'll say is that it, it is coming into the new Spider-Man. Yes, and maybe. We don't know. It's not, it's not all. Contracts haven't been signed on that yet. Well, <laughs> uh, he was spotted coming off set, lads. That's all I'm saying. But, um, oh God, if that happens, I swear to God, I will, I will take... The MCU down a pecking order in my in my appeal, um, but yeah, I, I mean Tom Hardy, he's a, he would speak in exclusively one-liners. We've seen him do it before. He likes to put weird shit in his face. He does in every film. There's a scene that he covers his face with something. My name's know, Charlie um, Bronson. <laughs> <laughs> you know he like he likes to do shit like that. It's a weird role, something that you would take. We know he's been in a Batman before, but that Batman that's that's good couple of years ago now already um and he wasn't exactly great in that movie and anyway um okay. so it's 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 a it's a role that i think you do okay uh great i do well uh well as i said i had a another active marvel person in here and i went to a batista someone i thought of as well originally um, yeah, the only thing is i will say technically as we know right now he's not signed on but we know he's signed on Oh no, he has a contract that he has. He has the last film to do. No, 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 not Batista. I'm talking about Tom Hardy signing on to be in the in the new Spider-Man. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a, no, nothing's it's a, confirmed. It's it's all done and dusted. I, th I think it's a secret, uh, like yeah. a, a bad Hollywood secret that he's. I, I'll be, be so. I'll be so it's kind of it's kind of like The Rock's Black Adam. Everyone yeah. knows it was happening, but yeah. until he announced it. it. Yeah, um, I'll be so annoyed if Tom Hardy's comes into the MCU. It's hundred percent happening. I, I think he is going to. Um, I thought uh, of a few. So, so I thought angry. of a few people for this. So at one point, I had a uh, Ed Norton in this. No, too small. But uh, yeah, exactly. Small. I said that. That's the first thing I said. I said voice wise, perfect. See the thing with the thing with Doctor Freeze is, and I know in this film they went with Arnie, right? But when it was you crazy, this was yeah. But when you think of Doctor Freeze in general, Doctor Freeze is a scientist. Yeah, who yeah. yeah. Has kind of become a little bit unstable because you know his wife's dying and stuff like yeah. he actually if, in terms of a villain like he has kind of the he's best a very backstory. good villain yeah like his his whole reason is that he wants to save his wife but to do so he's like oh i need loads of money so the only way to do that is to become a villain um yeah, so yeah. i can kind of like i know they went with arnie in this but i, I was to I'm get not, arnie into it i'm not sure why they went for arnie other That's... than to have arnie's name um, on it you know the other um, the other question between he's top build he he is billed higher than George Clooney in this movie. Of course he is. Of course he is. He was Arnie. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. But I mean, it's it's not it's not called Mister Freeze. No, it's I know. Batman and Robin, like Bat George Clooney, should have been. Yeah, 
It was funny, even, even on the top, credits, yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger comes out first. That, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. <laughs> that's how, like, um, but that, that's beyond the point. Yeah. They, they, they went with Arnie, but I think they could still have gone with someone smaller. Um, so I yeah. do like that's I think why it, made, I kinda, it would have made more sense to go. It would have made more sense smart. to have someone like Ed Norton, but I didn't go with him. In Arnie, does, Arnie doesn't look huge in this film, though. He does when he, when he takes off the suit and you see him as the doctor. And yeah, he falls into the nitrogen, he's huge. There's also the problem that they make him incredibly strong in this film. Like he's yeah. throwing security guards around like nobody's. That's so funny, and he's going yeah. us up on the dinosaur. And he's like, oh, whoop. <laughs> Yeah, which I don't particularly, I didn't like that about this one because that's never been what Mr. Freeze's whole thing was, you know? So I did think of uh, Ed Norton at one point. Um, based on one-liners, I was like, you know who could do one-liners really well? Vinnie Jones. No. Oh, I, was, no. Like, in Marvel, <laughs> I was like, he wouldn't be any good at any of the rest of it. But he was, in, he, he was he, in Marvel as well. Yeah, I was like, if he just had to do a one, if he just had to do one-liners, Vinnie Jones does good one-liners. Like, there's no taking that away from the man, but I, yeah. I didn't go with him. Who I went with was uh, Tom Hopper, um, who you would know from Umbrella Academy probably most recently. Didn't watch that. He was, he was in Game of Thrones as well, um, but I think he's more well known for being in the Umbrella Academy. He's, oh, I do know who he is, yeah. yeah he's, been in a couple, he's been in that new Hitman's uh, Wife's Bodyguard. Uh, that yeah, only came out Terrible. I know it's yeah. terrible, but he is in it. Uh, he's uh, he's going to be in the new Resident Evil as well. Yeah, uh, he's again, big big guy and i know that goes against the point that i was saying of you know was he not the, he was in maryland as well yeah he's been in a few things um i i think he's quite a good actor um and i know it goes against my point of you know mr freeze doesn't need to be big but i think he would do it quite well um i also thought i did think of jason satan at one point but i was like i don't know if he'd he'd definitely take that on he would take definitely it but i don't know if he'd work well enough in that role um, I don't think could, so. I don't know. No, no I don't sorry. think so. He'd take it. But... He'd take it, but I don't know if he'd work well in it. So I, I went with Tom Hopper. I think he, I think he would have done the, the, this quite well. Um, I don't know. We're kind of in a bit of a stick here, um, because we had both Batista and Tom Hardy. Um, Tom Hardy, who is currently signed as Venom, and whether yeah. whether that's going into Marvel or not, he's still currently signed to be a superhero elsewhere. So I don't know if he would go off and be a villain at the same time. I find it very hard to see that sometimes. Um, the, the same will be said about Batista. My argument on that is, yes, he's a hero at the moment, but do people see Tom Hardy and think, oh, look at that, that's Venom? No, I think they see Tom Hardy and think, there's Bane. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. I, th I think that's his. If you, are, if you ask anybody, but I mean, but if you if you see Batista, the general public, not those wrestling fans. Yeah, but if I you know, see the, the general public, they're like, "Oh, look, Drax." Exactly, yeah. so, which is kind yeah. of where the problem is. You see, although you might you might something. you might slightly get away with it because he's kind of doesn't really look like Batista as Drax. No, I think I think he, I think he looks. It's, oh, yeah. he, he, like, but if, you, if you haven't, <laughs> haven't watched wrestling, really, you you don't mm. see Batista. No, but if you've seen Batista in anything else he's been in and then see tracks you're like oh that's apart, your man apart, apart from the West Ham movie um, we won't talk about that though I think the fact what's what puts it here for me is Tom Hardy that when I do think of Tom Hardy I think a lot of people go there's Bane and I think because he's already got that like big association with a Batman villain I don't think I could have him as another Batman villain and I think that's what that's what hurts it there so I, I'll, I'll go with Batista because I did think of Batista myself at one point, even though, you know, it goes against yeah. the Marvel thing. But I do think, as you said, Re I really Batista. wish I had actually thought about that rule. Yeah, I, I only thought about it at the very end. Like I had Batista written down for ages and then was like, oh, wait, yeah. Marvel. Um, so we're going you know, to so, the last one. So, something has just came to my mind there, right? Do you know who could have been a really good Alfred? Woody Harrelson. Someone I, I had looked at, yeah. I had looked at it, but I just I, didn't think of it. I, I kind of didn't think I'd like I him don't as that think role. So. Um, so we're going. Maybe it's just because I love Woody. <laughs> we're going in here. I um, you know you love a Woody. Greg's kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Greg's got the advantage coming in here because obviously Carl has to win on this choice. Not another. If I lose champions advantage. If you lose champions oh. advantage or if Greg wins outright, that's it. But obviously, last one Batman <sighs> played by George Clooney in. The main, so it's you first, Greg. I have one, two, I have four names, five names wrote down, and one of them is done twice. 
<laughs> oh, well, then I, that's four names. <laughs> yeah, no, but that's what I mean. Like, I had, yeah. I think, um, so one of them I crossed off late. I made the decision literally when I went out to get the copy just before we'd done this. Yeah. Uh, I had Paul Rudd, who I think would have been a great Batman. But obviously, is I don't Ant-Man. Know. He is that man. I, I wish I do. Man. I do wish you picked Paul Rudd because I, 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 I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> no. uh, and then I had Jake Gyllenhaal, who was also a, a Marvel bad guy, and went against that when he played Memento or uh, mm, yeah, but he's Mysterio, Mysterio, but he's also not with them anymore either. Yeah, yeah. So, but like, I, I like I Jake Gyllenhaal. I, I think I, he's I, still I, coming back. Yeah, I think yeah. he might be. I'm still not. I wouldn't be. I had, had him as a Batman either. Yeah, this one, this one, this guy divides a lot of opinion. This is the third backup that I had, uh, Luke Evans. I like Luke Evans a lot. Uh, it's either he's one of those you either like him or hate him. Yeah, there's no, there's no in between. And then Ted's gonna be like, I don't like him, but I don't hate him. I haven't seen him in enough. Like he was in The Hobbit, which doesn't bode well for him. Uh, uh, he was he was in uh, he yeah was but he was good in that and he he stole he was the best thing along with uh, Josh Gad and the Beauty and the Beast remake oh I'm, I'm yeah, not saying he was bad but just particularly yeah. you know yeah uh, he, was, he was he was brilliant in Dracula Untold <laughs> yeah he is very good in that I think he, the, he was very good in Beauty it, and the Beast as well to be again fair. Nine Perfect Strangers lads on Amazon if you haven't watched it watch it he's in this he's fantastic in it as well <laughs> I, I do I do like him as uh, Gaston no. he's great as Gaston yeah this one I went with again is linked back to. Well, I'm actually not sure if it, if it is Marvel, um, or it could be Sony that owns that part of the X Men. Uh, I went with Michael Fassbender. Um, I think that's, that's Marvel. That's Fox. It's Fox. It's, it's, oh, actually, every everything. I think I think X Men is completely. It's uh, Di- it's Disney now, but it's yeah. not canon anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I okay. went with Michael Fassbender. Like he's he's the same kind of actor that George Clooney was at that time. Like he, he's taking parts in absolutely yeah. everything. He's doing dramas. He's doing action. He's doing this. He's doing that. Yeah. Um. I can kind of see that one. Yeah. Um. Uh, he has the that similar kind of look and frame that Clooney had in it. Yeah, I can kind of see that one. Who who yeah. have you got, Carl? Please don't say James McAvoy. Uh, I don't no, think James, James, James McAvoy. McAvoy wouldn't work for this. He so. would do it wrong. <laughs> All right. Uh, I had four names down. Okay, uh, first name down, I'm automatically have to cross off now because it was the MCU. Um, I, went, I had Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt written down. He'd have been, he crossed mine. He'd have been a fantastic Batman. He'd be, yes. he'd be very good For, as, Batman, this, but, yeah. as this Batman as well. As this yeah. Batman, he'd be very good. Um, I also had John Cena, uh, mm-hmm. just because I thought, and uh, you know, he actually, yeah, be, watched Suicide he's, too yeah. he's too big. Yeah, he's too big. Oh, yeah. I think he's too big as well. And also um, just the fact that he was just in Suicide Squad and exactly, he has a yeah, character yeah. in that. I wasn't even thinking of that. Couldn't have picked yeah. him. Uh, the other one that... Huh? Couldn't have picked him, no. Sorry? You couldn't have picked him. <laughs> no, no. Um, another one I had there, he's kind of in the MCU because he, he just plays a voice. And it's too hard to do it. Might be okay. Like, that. He just... It can if he just plays a voice, can I use it? Because it is he was my number one choice. Well, I mean, I went with Batista for Greg in things, so I'm not like fully sticking to that either. You know, like, I, easy, okay. Well, then I, I, I'm I'm going to use him then. Um, my other cho- the other choice was Channing Tatum. Who he voice? He no, he hasn't. So oh, I'm, u- I'm using I was the, the say... voice as I'm using the voice as my as the main guy. Okay. Um, so I was uh, Channing Tatum there. Um, mm-hmm. and again, I think he he's around the same age. Um, and he has the build, he has the physicality, and he can do the. He might, he might be a bit bigger even, than Clooney was. He, he, I think even that's if it's okay. Not, I th- yeah, I think no, that, yeah, that'd be fine, that's yeah. a big guy anyway, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But my main choice, and he plays a voice in the MCU. Um, but I think he do this role, role very well because George Clooney plays this movie straight. Hmm, even does. though it's it's very comedic because the way it happens, everything around him, but he plays this movie straight. Um, I went Bradley Cooper. Uh, uh, Raccoon, uh, Rocky. He yeah. he does do a voice, but you yeah. know that that that's that's where I went. I think he plus not only could he the my main reasoning for this was he would be a fantastic Bruce Wayne. I think he would more yeah. than more than a Batman, but he's not in the bat suit an awful lot in this film. I oh, is the first um, time you see him, he's in the bat suit. <laughs> he is, but there's I mean, a lot, it's of, not there's a, a lot of them, there's a lot of them there's a lot of Bruce well. Wayne, yeah. um, and Bradley Cooper. Would be a great, yeah, he would, yeah, uh, Bruce Wayne. What's what's really strange about it, and 
just because you mentioned how much Batman is kind of a, a straight character in this, yeah. other than the, the whole credit card scene with the uh, Poison Ivy and things. Other than the credit card other, scene. Other, yes. than that, right? <laughs> other than that, yeah, he's it's a very straight shooter. Um, yeah. Which is funny because this Batman film went really heavy on the 96, 1960s like series Batman, you know, where it's real. Yeah. It's very cheesy, choppy, yeah. Re- real cheesy stuff like when they have, oh, we just have ice skates in our boots and, oh yeah, we play hockey with this diamond and, oh, we have all this stuff. Like, they, they were very... The hockey team from hell! Yeah, they, they were very... <laughs> see, th- this is kind of the thing, like, if you like that old 1960s back- Batman, which I do, yeah, I think it's quite good. That's probably why I do enjoy this film because this is a, a bit of a throwback to that. Um, without the unfortunately without the big signs that say bam wham punch uh, without all that but I I do get what you mean George Clooney is a very straight shooter in this Um, for Batman I thought of a few people Um, I thought of Oscar Isaac I think would do this well quite well that's who I went with he is signed on he's doing an MCU film I know yeah uh, (laughs) or TV show MCU TV show sorry everybody is doing that nowadays I had him sign I had him down before I thought about the whole Marvel thing but I just said I'd leave him there because just I think he would do the role yeah I I think exactly although would people you know the fucking fuckers today would go mad because he's a non-white Batman people would go mad that'd be fine for me Um. It's fine by me too as well, but yeah. it's you know I think you're talking to the general public. If you do if you do a good Batman, I don't care. Yeah. Um I thought of Joseph Joseph Gordon Levitt just because he'd played Robin in a previous one and I'd be like, Oh, that it could be cool to have him come in because I think that was originally the plan with that and then they just never went ahead yeah. with it. Well thing I think like he was he was he was gonna play um wasn't Batman, it was um Nightwing. A what's Nightwing, that's it. Yeah. yeah. But I think that you know they had the plan to have him become somewhere so I was like it'd be cool to get him back in but I, I didn't really like him um, Sam Worthington was someone that came to mind sure. um, who I think would have been quite good and then the last one which is the one I went with who I think is maybe too big an actor but again George Clooney was quite a big actor at the time George Clooney was the biggest name in the, in the, on the planet at that stage the problem is he yeah. might be a little bit old for it DiCaprio yeah, he's definitely too old yeah, too old for it Great actor, but definitely yeah, too old. That's that's kind of what I thought. I was like, I don't know. Like but, oh, this one was you, quite hard, but I know, I know it's uh, like it's it's very heavy on crazy action, like random things happening. But like you don't see DiCaprio doing that a whole lot. You see, you no. both say you both say he's too old, right? You both say that. Do you he's know forty-eight what age? or something. DiCaprio's forty-six. Do you know what age the people you picked were? Yeah, well, they're about the same age. 46 yeah. and 44. So we say yeah. DiCaprio's too old, but I think that people think he's a lot older than he is because he's been around. Yeah, I, I, I was, I was going to say, I was actually going to I thought say, he was in his 50s. 50s yeah. yeah, exactly. So yeah. he's not actually as old as you think. So that's Brad why Pitt I went for No, him. but he's... I don't know. I think I don't think DiCaprio, you're ever going to see DiCaprio in a superhero film. It just doesn't no. suit him. It's not his him. acting. Mm. Yeah. Possibly, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a tough one. Fassbender... I, it was the straight, the straightness that I went with. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Use my yeah. argument, huh? <laughs> Great politician here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like George Clooney, this movie was made. The one thing, like the movie, didn't even need to be recast. All you need to do was change the director. Sort of, yeah. Uh, and the script, and the movie, and hope it never got made. <laughs> the, the way, the way I see this here, Ted. Um, Cooper will probably play a better Bruce Wayne, and Fassbender might play a better, slightly better Batman. I don't know that he would. See, that's what I'm kind or of. Or maybe he wouldn't. I yes. think they'd both. I well, think Cooper would definitely play a better Bruce Wayne. Yeah, he has yeah. that suave. He has more of that suaveness. I don't know. I think he's lost a good bit of that after the the likes of American Sniper and all when he he decided to go into fucking trying to be a real serious serious actor. I, I think, know he's he, he's still he's a still a suave motherfucker. I think, yeah, I think <laughs> he was and like the yeah. likes of the Hangover and all. Like he's like the last thing I saw piled on the weight and all. Like, it's all great going off of voice acting and being rocky. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but, you, like, you you don't you don't generally just you don't lose that kind of thing. He's he can still be suave in like, a film that he wants to be. I mean, there's scenes in. Um, I don't think the Batman that? this is all that suave to be honest. He's not. He's, Clooney is. I don't think Clooney's over. Or it's not Clooney, sorry. Uh, Bruce Wayne is. 
I, I, don't, I, don't, Clooney, I, don't I don't think Clooney's overly suave in this. I think he's kind of like he's just kind of like yeah i'm it's kind of like he's just george clooney in that role i think like genuinely i was like i don't think he's massively suave he's not Um, he's not even a real batman he's just kind of like yeah yeah i'll put this Uh, on what kind of tips are for me is that now i know both of the i know x-men technically isn't uh marvel but it looks like disney are bringing the x-men in and i think that when they do bring them in i think fast bender is going to be brought in um I think they are going to try and get that cast back. The the newer X Men. Ma- McAvoy cast. said he won't go back, didn't he? McAvoy, I think he did, but they can just throw him money. They'll they'll find. Yeah, him. Hey, old pal. <laughs> if they decide if they decide not to, they'll find somebody else to do him. I I think. I'd be I'd know. be all I'd be all right with that actually. Um. So, the problem I have is that Bradley Cooper, although a voice actor in Marvel, you don't see him. Uh, yeah. Michael Fassbender, you do see. So I think people would associate him with Magneto. I think if you see Michael Fassbender, you're like, oh, that's your man who's Magneto. Whereas if you see Bradley Cooper, I think you look at him and you go, and then as soon as he starts talking, there's a lot. He he puts on a voice though. Yeah, for they, Rocket they, Raccoon. It's it's not like, exactly his voice for Rocket. A lot of people, like the general public, if you don't know, like if you don't do the research, a lot of people don't know that that's Bradley Cooper. Yeah, I I think. I think because the new X Men is still so fresh that like the last one of them was only two or three years ago. Yeah, the Dark Phoenix. Yeah, now Dark Phoenix was shit, but oh. the last one was the the rest of them were fairly okay. Well, the first one was really good. The rest of them were mm, downhill. And second was well. Second was very yeah, good. It as well. started going downhill from there, but I think because when you look at Fastbender, it's still so fresh that he's Magneto. Um, similar to how I said when I look at Tom Hardy, still too fresh to me as Bane. I think that's what clinches it here. So, um, for me, I'd go with Bradley Cooper. Um, but yeah, it's it's a tough one. It, uh, I think it's just the fact that I'd look at Fastbender and go, "That's my." Most, most, most people, though, if you think about it, will at you'll ask who Michael Fastbender is. There's a lot more movies that come to mind before Magneto. I don't know that there is. I don't know. Oh, he, I was, think, he was a brilliant Bobby Sands. Yeah, he, it, 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 it's not that he's bad. Oh, he's great. He's, he's, he's good and everything. He's it. Prometheus but... as well. Yeah, I don't know. I think that, that bombed. That, that bombed. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Shawshank Redemption bombed. Yeah, no, but I, th- I think the fact is that when you do see him, I think that's the role that people would in- associate him with the most. The recently. general public more than likely yeah. does. Yes. Yeah. It, it's not that he's bad in any of the other roles he does. I think he's very good in everything he does. But I think that's what people would associate him with. Um, I don't see it, but you're the judge. Yeah, that's that's where I'd see him <laughs> anyway. I'd go oh, yeah. when you said Fastbender, I was like, oh, Magneto. That's the first thing that comes to my head. Um, I don't I know, like you, you'll always associate an actor with a certain movie. It doesn't matter what it is. Like you think of Arnold Schwarzenegger, you're not going to think of Batman. Remember, you're going to think of Predator or Terminator. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. When you see I, him in this, right? He was cast in this. Oh, look, it's it's the Terminator. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, actually, no, Arnold, Arnie's a bad, uh, bad choice because uh, it's Arnie. Um, well, the, the, difference is, <laughs> the difference is that it's superhero. It's a superhero film, and he's, I'm associating him with a different superhero yeah. film. Well, Ar- yeah, Arnie was larger than life, but it was a bad... Yeah. Uh, it's, it's just, I, I'd associate, it's the same way, like, Tom Hardy, I just naturally associate him as being Bane, so... Um, yeah, it, no, it's, it, it's, the same, it's the same argument there, yeah, really. It'll have know, to be, yeah. it'll have to be Bradley Cooper for me, so... That ends it as you clawed it back quite well, Greg. You were three one down, and then Fastbender has let you down at the last hurdle here. It's the last time I ever picked that <laughs> fucking dickhead. Um, so new champion. I hate, hate, him, hate him as much as I hate James McAvoy. Um, the word the shortest reign. Carl has lost the title of shortest reign. Uh, I'm calling to, shenanigans on this one. To Greg, you're now the shortest reign. I'm the longest, and Carl's right in the middle. But he he starts fresh again from this week. Can't, um, wait, can't wait till you lose no. next week, Ted. And new, uh, <laughs> uh, we leave Greg to give us our film. No. Well, oh, we're going to uh, end. We're going to end season one of the show here. <laughs> Honestly, thank God I won this because I'm not going to lie, lads. I completely forgot to pick a film. So <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> I wish, I wish we would have. <laughs> We would have had five minutes of me scrambling around trying to think of something, but thank God. <laughs> taking, a page, taking a page out of my book, are you? Yeah. <laughs> right.
Right, so go ahead, Greg. What's our film for the next episode? Gone in 60 seconds. Oh, okay. yes. Yes, I, I'm actually happy to be able to watch that one. Yeah, we watch it. It's I watch on Disney that. Plus as well. Yeah, it's on Disney Plus. It's good. Good old film. Uh, great. Yeah, very great. good. Great. So that's it for this week. And we'll be back with me versus Carl. I'm going to knock him out again. Uh, <laughs> the old one, two easily. <laughs> Carl will get back to being the shortest uh, reign with Greg. But that's it for this week. Uh, check us out on the Dynamo Podcast Network and check Carl out over on the Sherlock Reel. Um, as you can see, his lovely little sign there. And we'll see you again <laughs> in the next episode. Good luck.